myself with it. Hi, I'm Reese. And I'm Sophie. And welcome to Darkness episode 14 of our Evil Within commentary series. We have just completed chapter 7 and are going on to chapter 8 of the game. Yeah, I'm not sure what to expect. We were climbing down a ladder to a really dark hole, so I'm not excited about that. And you've just taken out Boxhead, so that's yeah. the... So I'm not scared that there'll be any more big baddies after Boxhead. Considering your three main patient theory. Yeah, I think... Well, they keep making a reoccurrence, but I think after they've just given me Boxhead, they might be a bit of a break. I'm hoping... <laughs> After, you know, dog and then box head, I feel like this chapter's going to be a bit calmer. Always the optimist, eh? <laughs> Always the optimist. <laughs> I don't want to know what's at the end of these ladders. <laughs> Where are the ladders that we climbed down? They're not even there. Oh, hello, two-headed, long-armed monster. <laughs> Yeah, there's no ladders here. So we must have gone through a scene change, or is that continuity error? Continuity error. But then again, when has this game not been? <laughs> continuity error. You have no shotgun bullets. What do you use more box fights? This is why I upgraded the shotgun as soon as I came onto this game. <laughs> You're gonna use a grenade. I'm on. gonna use the grenades. I don't think I use them enough. Probably because I'm gonna blow myself up. Throw it further into the room, I think. Why well, do you think it'll get both? Because there's three of them. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to run in and run out. <laughs> run in and run out. Actually, can I stealth kill these? I, I've never tried. Probably They've got not. two heads. They've got two heads, haven't they? I'd get those two, though, to fit together. Turn your torch up as well, otherwise, that one's going to notice you. Come on! Oh! Oh, and he got back up. One of them must be dead because you've got some shot. Well, some kind of bullets over there now. No, they're all still there. Why are all three? Oh, there must have been a crate or something that got smashed. Oh, oh dear! What? <laughs> Clearly, you're just too far away. What's that? That's your bomb. Your explosive bolt. Oh, don't use that. Don't use that. What's that? Flash. That's your flash bolt, which will blind them. Harpoon bolt. Seemed like a waste. They don't seem to notice I'm here. That was two harpoon bolts I just fired into him, wasn't it? Oh, oh healing. yeah, healing. You may want to use that in all fairness, because again, you're running around with very minimal health. I actually think I can stealth kill them. Because why else are they just being stupid and not noticing me? I just killed your mate. <laughs> you got that one that's facing you at the minute. They're both technically sort of facing you. Damn two-headed monsters! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never looked stealth kill there. Okay. And that one's seen you now. Has it? Yeah, that's why he's wandering towards you. Oh! With one bullet to spare. Well, that's some more handgun bullets. Some more handgun bullets. These you replenishing what you've just used. Oh. <laughs> Terrible aim there, Sophie. <laughs> Nobody saw anything. No brain juice. No brain juice. What are they? Another one. <gasps> I like how that. you use so many handgun bullets. I know. Like, no. oh, it's because I was doing it. 
Oh, one bullet. <laughs> You're Is that for making out. it? <laughs> <laughs> making me absolutely amorous. <laughs> that was like a grenade for. Who's still alive? Both of them. Speed matching. Speed matching. We're going to have to make a hashtag of that. Speed we have. matching. <laughs> On Twitter, every, whoever watches this video, hashtag <laughs> at Rain45. Speed matching. <laughs> it's a new kind of speed dating, but with monsters and matches. <laughs> <laughs> Right, there's nothing else in this room, is there? Not by the looks of it. It's a very small section, isn't it? Wait, why are we even opening this? It doesn't look like we can go anywhere. Sorry? It doesn't look like there's a path. <laughs> it does look like it's got a dead end, but sure, I think it's Hey! Good. Statue! Oh yeah! Is this... Is this why I opened it? What? Thank you! Yeah, there's got to be a way forward. Are you...? He looks like he's twitching, but I don't know if it's just because rocks have fallen on him. And it looks like everything wants to collapse. Okay, let's go at him. He better not come away, because I do not have the ammunition to actually take <laughs> one out at the minute. <sighs> okay. So, you need to run to the part where the rock is. To make sure you got cover. <laughs> and wait for it to go again. Oh, where is it? It's just coming off the wall, there's nothing for you to shoot. Oh! How? See, it's all automated. It's alright, you could do that any slower, Sebastian. <laughs> Bastion. Okay. <laughs> Can't he not pick those ones up? I don't know, it doesn't look like it. You don't really have much time to play with, do you? Oh! <gasps> <laughs> you just knocked that brain <laughs> juice off the ledge. So, you know things are bad when you're knocking your brain juice over the edge. <laughs> I can't believe it. So we're safe from that. Not on brain juice. What's next? Going through a really small gap. Oh, marvellous. Always fun. What's on the other side? I really don't <laughs> want to know. But we've got to go over there anyway, haven't we, Bruce? I think what? It's the joy of horror games. <laughs> I don't want to continue, but I must. <laughs> when you're playing this game, it's a lot harder to actually think about the story. So I can imagine when you were playing it, you weren't kind of going, what the hell is going on? Because you were just too busy trying to survive. Not quite as much as when you just sat back watching it. Y yeah, yeah you're right. You're thinking more when you sat back oh, watching got it. Oh, recording there. I know. I was just checking there was nothing else. Just sort what about down that way? Jumped on, you know, by monsters when I was listening. Oh, yes. Yes. What was that? What is that? Don't shoot them. Just kick them. Kick them. Kick them. Why? Uh, mini versions of those double head monsters. They grow in the walls. <laughs> Apparently so. They're like weeds. <laughs> For a minute then, I thought the game Watch had out. been... Watch out, there's more of them coming from Where? somewhere. I can hear them squidging. Him squidging. <laughs> Coming from the ceiling now. I just want to listen to the recording. Yeah, you got to make sure you stomp them before they come and kind of jump on you, otherwise you get injured. So who thought we just entered a visceral game then? <laughs> yeah. Too true. When I say visceral games, you don't know what I mean. I'm talking about the Dead Space Dante's Inferno creators who love having like baby monsters come at you and you have to stop them. 
Okay, I think we're safe. Aberrant brainwave patterns observed in subjects number 25 and 33, and now again in 55. The one common factor is a case history of disassociative identity disorder. Previous experiments on the prefrontal cortex led to degradation of sense of self, but there were unanticipated results here. Suicidal thoughts of alternate personalities exhibited as attacks on the core personality. As self-consciousness waned, a sort of stasis was achieved. Like two creatures sewn together and forced to live as one, eternally hating the other. Delicious. Delicious? That's a Ruvik is just one <laughs> evil man. But we now understand where the baddies come from. The double-headed monsters. Because one of that? them looks really evil, mm -hmm. which is always the head that you can never kill first. And the other one just looks <laughs> like a normal person. And that's obviously the two parts of the brain that are in competition and fighting mm -hmm. one another. I think... I don't even think this is a study. He just wants people to kill themselves or lose <laughs> their minds. And that's what's happening in this world. So what, you don't think there's any end goal? Or any... Well, he obviously purpose. has an end goal because he was so obsessed. Well, he was happy when he found out Leslie and himself were compatible. Which we still don't really understand Stand. how. Oh, please nothing jump out the water. <laughs> I don't have the bullets to kill you. Well, you've got more handgun bullets than you used to have. Doesn't mean I'm going to survive. You should be able to punch through those blocks. <laughs> no, you don't want to punch the ammo. <laughs> <laughs> water effects are quite nice here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, someone just found the water behind you. Did it? It looked like it. I think it was just me jumping on the rock and then jumping oh, okay. into the water. I think it was just about physics. <laughs> physics. After we were just talking about the nice water effects. <laughs> the physics are terrible. Oh, I forgot to do that. Babies! <laughs> Baby two-headed things. Die! Someone has issues. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they killed a rat. <laughs> How could they do such a thing? Can I take that torch? No. Damn it, I just want to flame kill something. <laughs> you want, we want to have an insta-kill weapon. Take your torch off so you can sneak up on it. Although I don't think you will because of the water. But you've got a shotgun if all else fails. They've seen you. Have they? They have. They're walking towards you now. <laughs> See, there's the two heads. He's not dead. And don't forget to take care of the babies. That's not a baby. That one's not a baby. <laughs> you know, there's something about this that's really gratifying. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just the attitude he has when he kicks them. I know, and it's the noise they make, like the squish. It's like jumping in puddles. <laughs> like jumping in very <laughs> thick, fleshy puddles, but yes. I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> nope, you're not a psychopath, just a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got a checkpoint, which means something's happening in this room that I should not be happy about. <laughs> You've only got one shotgun bullet left. Well, it's time to sniper rifle people. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Is that's that? your explosive bolt. Oh. That's your shot bolt. That's your ice bolt. We'll freeze people if worse comes to worse. What is that? Person doing? <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm going to sneak around with my torch on. <laughs> with your torch on, because you know, <laughs> always helps for your stealth. <laughs> She would have heard that, don't worry. <laughs> Game logic. Actually, I think she's stuck into the wall. Is anything to the right as well? <laughs> Just empty barrels. 
So we've gone from the catacombs of the church to this kind of cave system by the looks of it. It looks like there was an old building here underneath the catacombs which has long been gone. But that's beneath the catacombs so we are really far underground. Mm -hmm. And there's still traps. Oh, cave note. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. I went in too deep and of course it was a trap. Sophia told me to stop so many times but it was only a little further to the truth. I knew there'd be challenges, but I was so close. I noticed the faintest breeze coming from the crack of this door. This door had to lead outside. The plate I found looks like it fits in the slot. It's probably the key, but which way does it go? 50-50 odds, and I've been here pacing for what feels like an eternity, unable to make this simple choice. Sophia, if I make it out of here, I'll hold you in my arms. I'll tell you that you were right, and I'll never let you go. Okay, so, why does the note sound like it was written by a man, but there's like a woman with a spike in her face? Yeah, because that is a woman with a spike in her face. <laughs> or is it wearing a man? An it is a man. Is it a man? It, it, it is a man. Oh, man with long hair. <laughs> to be fair, it's hard to distinguish genders in this game. <laughs> so I assume he put the key in wrong. Yep. Does he still have the key on him? Oh! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Oh! Oh. Oops. Bloody belief plate. This strange plate has faces carved into either side of it. One side has blood streaked across it. Well, I assume it's the blood bit that goes in. Because there's blood on the door. Well, I'm assuming that you want the blood bit not facing you. Why not? Because if there's blood on it, that means that's when that's the one that got him... But why would he put the blood side on? I th no, because it wouldn't have had blood when he did it, would it? The blood is his. Oh! <laughs> of course. <laughs> so you want that side, because if you put the other side in, that's the, that would have been the way he did it. Yeah. He killed him. Oh, Reese, you're so clever. I thought that bit was obvious. Obviously, the, you, obviously <laughs> you would have got yourself killed there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job, this ain't real life. <laughs> I'm so glad we got that on, on recording. I'm not editing that out either. <laughs> you hold this against me forever. <laughs> remember that time when you couldn't even open a door at Evil Within? What was that? Oh, when have we seen that effect before? When Ruvik was here. And when Leslie was cowering in a corner. Yes. And turned around with a glass face. Leslie's doing something, isn't he? Oh. Hey, up. Is this Freeze. familiar? Looks like the beginning of the game. Doesn't it? It is the beginning of the game. The hospital. The mental asylum. Oh, just turn around quickly. Why? Because at the end of the corridor where you just kind of walked in, I think there's something that you can pick up. I hope it's not a cheap scare. <laughs> yeah, you can pick up a cheap scare. Map, Map fragment. fragment. You can pick up a cheap scare. Leslie's taking control, is he not? Well, someone's transporting us. But, he said him and Leslie's minds were compatible. Does that mean they're both strong minds? Or is Leslie just as mad as he is? Well, judging from the recordings we've got, it's not so much about strength, it's about people with some kind of mental, mental disorder. disorder. <gasps> it's the doctor! I knew he... I can't get in the door. Because you have to press the open Doc. door button. <laughs> Doc, what the hell is going on? There's no time. I need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Ruvik guy? Who the hell is he? I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. And you need me to help. <sighs> he... We... We're working on a method. How can I explain this? It's like linking brains together. Sharing everything on an electrochemical level. Emotion, memory, perception, everything. Directly. It's unprecedented. The implications.
medications, on psychology, on pharmaceuticals, on consciousness itself. Are you serious? It's a fucking nightmare. Well, I didn't say it was perfect. Especially not with such a... unstable host. Great. So your research partner is a psychopath. And we're all inside his head. Not exactly, no. All of us are contributing on some level. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but... I'd say he wants us dead. Is that Ruvik's mind? His conscious mind. And did you recognise that the room Doctor? that we were in before here is the same one that we came into after we fought spider legs? Yes. That time and we had to fight those it zombies was. that had the things in their heads. So this is different. You wanna pick up the note? Yeah. Do you want me to read it or you? Uh, no, you read it. We dropped off Lily for her first day at preschool this morning. She's a brave girl. She seems like she'll be fine. Myra, God bless her, has had a tough three years. Raising a baby is a full-time job and she's finally going to get the break she deserves. By break, I mean coming back to the KCPD, Missing Pure Persons Bureau. The amount of disappearances here seems to be growing. If we don't get to the bottom of it soon, there won't be anyone left to investigate. They'll all be missing. I exaggerate, of course, but there's something going on in Crimson City that needs to be stopped, and Myra will help see to that. She's damn good at her job and obviously happy to be back in her element. So. So I think all the missing people are disappearing because they're all ending up in Ruvik's experiment, and they're all in his thing. I don't know why, but I think he's contacting people on that kind of level. Mm -hmm. And I think his wife got too close. Okay. And now he's after us, I don't know why, because he obviously wants to kill us, so he brought us into the world specifically to do that okay don't go through there yet don't go through there yet spin around you say that like something bad's going to happen no i'm just saying there's something else in this room before you leave it there's Is also it a, a note on the left which you've just run past Where? on that medical table thing oh yeah you can read this one subject number 18 connection established commencing procedure abnormal brainwave activity detected cardiac arrest non-resurrect res resuscitable thank you <laughs> Number 19, connection established, commencing procedure, abnormal brain wave activity. So they had a heart attack too. So did number 20. So did number 21. <laughs> Bit repetitive. Number 20. Oh no, 22 is different. Oh no, it's not. Sorry. <laughs> I got you excited there for nothing. 23 is different. It is different. Heart rate, respiration, blood pressure, and temperature rising. Recovery of consciousness. Stabilization of vital signs at last. At last. Wait, do you think that Leslie is the same as Ruvik in the fact that he can remain conscious within this world? Okay. Because only Ruvik at the moment can remain conscious, hence why he has control over it, but maybe Leslie can as well. So, see that pipe there? Yeah. The one with a woman sticking out of it? Oh! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> no, I didn't see that part there. Yeah, I think you have to shoot that one. I don't think you get to punch it. That's, that's a bit of a dangerous shot, really. <laughs> and the key should slide out the bottom of the pipe. I hate that bullet. It was painful. <laughs> it's painful to waste that. Okay. Would you really call it wasting? What could be behind that safe that door? That box is floating in midair. It's time stopped. Which box is floating in me there? It's balancing on another... Oh, it is floating in me there. How strange. What's going to happen, Reese? I, I need pre-warning before this tunnel because it looks like a gauntlet. You just want to get... And there's a light at the end. You want to get to the light at the end of the tunnel. Do I have to run there or can I explore? You just want to get to the light at the end of the tunnel. Tell me, can I explore? <laughs> no, this is not an exploration section. You just want to get to the light at the okay. end of the tunnel. <laughs> And now you want to run. Oh. Yes, I do want to get to the right. <laughs> Come on, man. We're 
our safe haven. Where are we? In our safe haven. Ruvix there. <laughs> How did he get here? Dum dum dum. So that one is a much shorter chapter than what we've had just lately, but yeah, that it was. is chapter eight. What do you take to that one? <laughs> well, we went through some caves. That person had been killed, and they said they were down there to do some. I don't know. It sounded like they were doing some sort of challenge. Which which person? Sorry. You know the person with the tile. Oh yes, the yes. Diary. It sounded like they were down there to do some sort of challenge. You know, like before you can join a group, you've got to do like. Oh, is that the impression you got off the note? I suppose that's an interesting Yeah, so I thought that was yeah. something to do with the cult. You know, like, before you get in, you have to go through those caves, maybe. Yeah. But that's what I got from it. Okay. Um, as for the doctor, he was talking about the experiment, how he wants to join mines, mm -hmm. and it went terribly wrong because we're in a psychopath's mind. Yeah. Who has control over it, and then that massive beast came out of nowhere. What do you take to the weird massive beast? Well, it looked like there was two bodies... Mm -hmm. And then there was like a bit in the middle, which was obviously mouth to eaters or something. And then there was mouth a, to eaters. there was a body at the bottom as well, wasn't there? Which kind of symbolises the mind splitting. Okay. You become an unrec. I don't know. <laughs> but then Ruvik was there, and I think that was him trying to take control. But we obviously have some sort of consciousness because we have our safe haven. But he's just well, what's just happened to our safe haven? Well, there was a massive monster there. <laughs> and just and like Ruvix it. just visited it, which makes me think it is breaking down. It's not safe anymore. But who is the woman that makes us safe all the time? I want to know her <laughs> story. I'm sure it's that wife, but you said it's not her wife. Well, here we are. We're at the precipice of the chapter that I have been alluding to since the very beginning of chapter our nine. season. Chapter 9. Where hopefully you're going to get many more of the answers you've been waiting for I hope throughout so. the whole season. Throughout the whole season. Throughout the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a season now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so guys, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you're still with us and enjoying the series still. Because we're loving it. Me, not so much when I have to play it, but, you know. <laughs> It's all right. What we'll do is, as I say, this is just from a gap that's in my recording. So yeah, if you don't want to carry on playing it, we can, um, when we get back to the point where it goes back to my playthroughs, we'll obviously tell you what's happening um, and it will go back to the recordings that I did when I first played the game. I think mm. it will start back from chapter 10 or 11 or so. Awesome. <laughs> I Until can't wait next for that. time then. Bye. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.